Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you clicking on that video as always. And today we're gonna to be doing something a little different. Today I am actually doing a first impressions video of my very first YouTuber fragrance. Excited to try this one. If you guys don't already know, Ashton from Gen Sense, and I have no connection to Ashton. I do not know Ashton. We've never spoken. This bottle was not sent to me for free. I paid for this with my own money and they were having a massive sale. I said, you know what? Let me try it, give my first impressions and let you guys know if it is worth picking up. As of today, I believe that this particular fragrance is actually sold out on the website. I think there are others that are still available at the moment. I will be sure to link it down below. However, this one seems to be sold out. What I have seen is in a lot of the Facebook groups or if you guys go through sort of back channels to buy fragrances or if you're swapping fragrances, these do pop up from time to time, people moving these bottles. So we're gonna skip the strip today, try it directly on skin and see what I think. So without further ado, let's get this box opened up and see what we think of the fragrance. So here we have Dream Woods from Galleria Parfums. And I don't know very much about this fragrance to be quite honest. It was one of the, they had a few fragrances still available by the time I got to the website. They're having a massive sale and I paid $61 for this 100 ml where typically this bottle is somewhere uh, north of $200. So I wanted to take advantage of that and get it while it was on such a deep discount because my understanding is that Galleria Parfums is no longer, they will be going out of business and not providing these fragrances to the public anymore. This box, uh, I actually quite like. It's uh, got a nice finish to it, almost like a faux leather. Uh, with this gold back to it. I'm not a huge uh, presentation guy, but I will say that this, you know, feels like a nice presentation. It comes with this little card here uh, with, okay, with the notes on it. Uh, this is Dreamwoods, as I said, and it's from Galleria Parfums. I actually like the little bed it rests in here. Um, Looking nice and cozy, almost like a uh, like a vampire somewhere a vampire would sleep. So it's got these sort of satin uh, sheet inside. So uh, I really like the color of the bottle. Bottle's like this purple. Bottle feels super heavy. So there you go. There's the bottle. So everything feels of really high quality in terms of the packaging and the presentation. The cap is super heavy. Let's uh, spray it, check out the atomizer. Really nice atomizer. So, okay. Wow, oh, all right. Okay, I got I got it in the air and I, uh, I like it. I like it so far. Let me try this on skin. It's reminding me of something immediately is on first spray. It's got some sweetness to it. Wow, okay. Hmm, I like this, but it does remind me of something. So it's very sweet off of my skin. I wouldn't say cloyingly sweet, but in the vein, and I'm not saying it smells like this, but when you first spray something like a Paco Rabanne 1 million or a Halloween Man X, that similar type of sweetness sort of makes itself known pretty quickly. In terms of citrus, I'm getting a little bit of a grapefruit vibe, maybe some Tonka bean in there. So it has this creamy sweetness to it and also something green, something that is something almost green, a bit refreshing and bright, but that's sort of subsiding. And again, I'm getting uh, really almost powdery Tonka bean type feel to this. It's actually a very unique smell. It, as I said, it reminded me a bit of those two others, but as it's drying down, it's becoming more unique and not like really anything else I've smelled before. Getting a little bit of lavender, a little bit of clean lavender from this maybe some almost smoky woodiness to it. I'm actually gonna read the notes. The notes are printed on this card that they send in the box. So Dreamwoods is an extrait de parfum. Top notes are Italian grapefruit, Sicilian bergamot, Indian cedarwood leaves, Guatemalan cardamom, juniper berry, and ginger. Heart notes are French lavender, Spanish nutmeg, fig, driftwood, and quince. Base notes, Gayak wood, Peru balsam, Tonka bean, vanilla ambergris, and Indonesian patchouli. I am getting sort of a fruitiness with a Tonka, very sweet, some slight woods, and that lavender. The smell is actually really, really nice. The quality of the fragrance is top notch. 
in my opinion. And you get that immediately from just smelling this off of your skin. It smells of really high quality. And to having paid $61 for this, that's kind of a steal. I love the atomizer. Atomizer is fantastic. It's a pressurized atomizer and it smells great in the air really nice in the air and that spicy cardamom is definitely standing out to me now it's adding a fruitiness to this and i love that i love that about cardamom when it's not only sort of that spice but that fruitiness that it offers and that's probably where i'm getting some of that green brightness to this there is juniper berry in here as well but i think some of that greenness is coming from the cardamom and i love it really pleased with this so far obviously i would imagine that most of you guys know who ashton is over at jensen's he has one of the larger channels on YouTube, and I really respect what Ashton does. He pretty much has a video out daily, so super committed to uh, providing content to his subscribers, and uh, it's always inspiring to see someone who's passionate about fragrance be able to release their own fragrance. And I want to say that Ashton actually had quite a lot of involvement in creating these fragrances. So. Uh, hats off to Ashen for that. I really hope there are still fragrances available on the website, but as I said, aftermarket, you can probably find these. I would absolutely recommend Dreamwoods. It's really good. And I'm just a massive fan of Tonka Bean and Cardamom, and this type of fragrance is actually right on my alley. I think this would be an ideal evening scent, to be quite honest, in cooler weather, but I can see you getting away with this during the day as well. Not too warm, it could be cloying in the warm weather, so this is gonna definitely be better for cooler weather, but yeah, really well done. Like this one quite a bit. Dreamwoods from Galleria Parfums. What I'll do is I'll be sure to wear this one day this week and highlight it in my next weekly wears video so I can get some wear out of it, see how long it lasts, see how it performs throughout the day and just put it through its paces. But really pleased with it. Let me know in the comments section below if you have tried anything from Galleria Parfums. As I said, they're having a massive sale. I paid $61 for a 100 ml bottle that's typically over 200, definitely worth checking them out. If you like what you saw today, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, hit that bell notification so you're updated whenever I upload new content. But until then, have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video. <music>